Alright guys, you already know what time it is. It is MCAT quick question discreet 3555 accelerator time. Basically, <laughs> over here, you guys are just going to go ahead and answer these discreet MCAT questions on your own. And then you resume the video and see how many you got right, how many you got wrong. Comment down below if you got them all right. If you did, congratulations. If you didn't, look where you messed up and get better. It's that simple, alright? The MCAT is easy. MCAT is easy. So let's begin. All right, so this is the first question. Write down your answer. Second question, write down your answer. Ooh, that's a doozy right there. Let's see how many y'all get that right. Third question. Fourth question, write down your answer. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, those four questions. Mm, interesting. Let's see how many you guys get right. Do them right now and then resume this video. All right. After you're done doing them, let's see how many you guys get right. Let's do this. All right. All the following are products of the pentose phosphate pathway, except, oh, that's easy, glycotic intermediates. That is a product of the pentose phosphate pathway, okay? The pentose phosphate pathway is also known as the HMP shunt, okay? It's a shunt of glycolysis, and it eventually feeds back into glycolysis, all right? It does this through glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate, okay? So A is a product. NADPH is a product, okay? NADH, it is not a product, okay? The answer is C. And ribose 5-phosphate, you should know that that is a product, okay? The whole point of the pentose phosphate pathway is to make nucleotides, is to make those sugars, okay? Let's keep going. In the electrolysis of water shown below, a current of 2 amps is applied to 180 milliliters of water for 6 hours and 42 minutes. How many grams of H2 are formed? Faraday's constant, 96,500. Okay, oh, all right. This is how you do it, guys. I'm going to have to go to the whiteboard on this one, all right? So I'm going to screenshot this right here. All right, let's go to the whiteboard, and let's put it in right here, okay? Let's do this right now. All right, so when you guys see electrolysis, there's only a small, there's only actually one thing you have to know about electrolysis for the MCAT. You have to know that formula, of course, but you also have to know that electrolysis, what is it? Well, do you remember the electrolytic cells? Remember from Gen Chem, you know, Gen Chem. Electrolytic cells, okay, what's the point of them? What do they do? What's the difference between an electrolytic cell and the, the galvanic cell, yada, yada, all that stuff? Well, electrolytic cells, they house non-spontaneous reactions. Non-spontaneous reactions, okay? I write short here because I'm writing with the mouse, okay? They house non-spontaneous reactions. So the non-spontaneous reactions like this one right here, all right, they make it spontaneous. They make it perform. They make it happen. How do they make it happen? Where do they get this energy from? Well, they get their energy from a current. They get their energy in forms of electric energy, okay? So how do we find this? How do we find the grams of H2 formed? Well, there's an equation you have to know. And this equation is mole M equals I T over n f okay i is current in amps t is time in seconds make sure you know that it's seconds okay n is the moles of electrons transferred f is faraday's constant all right you should know faraday's constant all right that's 10 to the fifth all right you definitely use that one okay so let's do this so i current two amps times what we got here how many time did it say? It said four, six hours and 42 minutes. So you have to convert that into seconds. So six hours and 42 minutes. I like to just make this into minutes and then multiply by 60. So I know there's 60 minutes and six hours. So I know there's 360 minutes and six hours plus 42 minutes. We're looking at 400 minutes, okay. So two times 402 minutes times 60 seconds in one minute. I can remember this is amps here. This is the current amps. All 
right, that's the numerator. Numerator is good. N moles. How many moles of electrons? Well, they said there was two. Two moles of electrons were transferred, okay? So two moles of electrons. All right, if you guys want the units, I'll do it for you guys. So two moles of electrons times the Faraday's constant, which is 96,485, 96,500, all right, coulombs per mole of electron. All right, so you do this, and you're gonna get the moles of H2 produced, moles of H2 produced. All right, so do the math here, guys. I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna use a calculator, okay, I'm sure you guys know how to do math um, you guys are in college okay you guys are going to med school do the math um on your own no calculator i'm going to cheat and use a calculator so let's see let's do this this is two just for time's sake okay two times 402 times 60 over two times 96,500. the answer i got is 0.24999 or 0.25 moles okay they asked us for it in grams they asked us for it in grams so how do you go from mole to grams guys well 0.25 moles is equal to mass over molar mass and mass is measured in grams the molar mass of hydrogen is one we have two of those so that's two all right two times 0.25 is going to be equal to a 0.50 grams Answer is ba B. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. That's how we do it. Let's keep going. An object is placed in front of a concave mirror between the focal point and the mirror. If the object is then moved closer to the mirror, the image would be. Oh, guys, you guys have to. This is just content of view. Okay, when it's on the focal point, the object, there is no image. So if we move it closer to the mirror, image is going to be smaller and closer to the mirror i can make a whole video explaining um ray diagrams that you need to know for the mcat if you're interested in that comment it down below i'll make it for you guys okay a lot of people say that the way i describe um certain mcat topics i dumb it down so good like it's so easy to understand it and i take pride in that okay a genius can only do that so i'm a genius let's keep going humble <laughs> Which of the following best describes the structure of glucose shown below? Okay, this is good. This is how you do it first, all right? We've got one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbon, oxygen. We have a five-membered ring. A five-membered ring is a furanos. So let's delete all the purinos. Oh, it's actually raining outside. I'm almost done with the video, so hold on. All right, we got a furanos. Now, is it D or is it L? Eric, how do I tell if it's D or, D or L? Oh, okay, this is how you tell, okay? You remember how in the Fisher projection, it was like this, okay? And then you look at the last one here, and you say, hey, is the OH on this side, or is the OH on this side? And if it's on this side, it's an L. If it's on this side, it's a D. Remember that? You do the same thing here, okay? But how? Well, we looked at the last chiral center, last chiral center let's look at the last chiral center this is the last chiral center now we do r or s here okay we do r or s here and if i do it quickly all right i'm gonna do this quickly i'm sure you guys know how to do it uh first priority is over here is the one. Second priority is the, this is the fourth all right fuck it i'll do it oh i should have cursed i'm gonna get demonetized i'll just do it on the do on the whiteboard real quick for you guys, okay? All right, let's do this real quick. This is one carbon, oxygen. This is four, obviously. This is going to be a carbon with a oxygen and two hydrogens versus a carbon with hydrogen, carbon, oxygen. So this one's gonna win. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and four. So it's gonna look like this, but bam, okay? If, if it is R, if it is R, it's going to be a D. 
If it is an S, it's going to be an L. Eric, how do I remember this? Do you have a new mind for me? Yes, I do. You're welcome. DR, Dominican Republic. That's how I think of it. Okay, Dominican Republic. D is to R. Therefore, the answer to this question is, where is it? Hold on. Okay. Oh, is the hydrogen in the back? No, it is not. The hydrogen is not in the back. All right, so it's not going to be the um, D. It's going to be the other one. It's going to be the L. You have to flip it. But bam, but bam, bam. That's how you do it, guys. And that is it. Hope you guys got all of it right. I'll see you guys in the next video if you guys are interested in working one to one with me inside MCAT University. All right, go ahead and click on the link in the comment section. Okay, fill out the interview, fill out the application, schedule an interview, and I will see if you're good for MCAT, MCAT University. Okay, MCAT University is a fully loaded program. Okay, you have access to me, you have access to everything that you need for the MCAT. All right, it's a proven pathway to hit your target score. It's absolutely proven. Many, many other students have hit your targets, have hit their target score. You are no different than any other pre-med. Sorry to say that, but it's true. Okay. You, I see the same mistakes in you as I do in other pre-meds. Also, I can make you hit your target score in way, way less time. Okay. If you do the right things, you're going to hit your target score in half the time, literally half the time. All right. So if you're interested in that, go to the comment section, book an interview, work with me. If I see you're a good fit, you'll join MK University, and I'll see you guys in the next video.